Welcome back. So I'm here with two of my favorite people on the planet, of course, Dave, who we love and don't get to see enough of in front of the camera. I know, I'm always hiding. He's always behind the, the camera, behind making the us look wonderful, oh. right? Thank yeah. you so much. You don't and, need much help, but... Well, you're sweet, and I pay you to say that. <laughs> <laughs> and Amber Barrett, who is our resident beauty and all things self-care, self-love expert. And so in keeping with our theme of love and all things Valentine, yes. Amber, tell us how we're going to spend the night in by ourselves or the day and just take care and love on us. Thank you so much for having me, Lauren Welcome and Dave. Back. Welcome back. Great to see you, you as, as well. always. Um, you know, this is one of my favorite segments, I think, for us to be getting together on. Um, I love all things beauty mm -hmm. and what better opportunity to stay in and really sort of indulge ourselves um, in whether it's a Valentine celebration, a party of one, or it's just something that, you know, for, um, for your self love sake, we need to kind of bring it down a notch. And I love to just disconnect from the world mm -hmm. and shut my devices off. And, Me you know, in a too. world that is so stressful at times, um, I like to do the things that really sort of decompress. Yeah. So I'll be pulling out some of my favorite items that, um, really just talking about self-love and, and caring for you and um, doing the things that maybe aren't always so glamorous that we don't want to advertise for everyone else to see, right? Like when I'm waxing my brows and doing the thing. That's not glamorous? It's crazy. No, there's a lot of work that goes into looking like there is nothing done. So um, one of my favorite things in this little self-love basket, I recently bought a pair of the exfoliating bath gloves you do not need another person's hands to get these guys going. <laughs> so um, I really love just the idea, would it feel better if it was someone else's hands? Maybe, but regardless, <laughs> exfoliating bath gloves just sound delicious, right? Yeah. yeah, and they get the job done. Taking off the dead skin cells and schluffing the old you and letting the new you come to life. Do you need to put soap or body scrub on there? Whatever you, yeah. I or would, is, it, is it like, are they is already there yeah, is there something yeah. already? So they don't have um, they don't have a product on them already, oh, like okay. a, an emollient, but you would definitely yeah. want to put something that's, that's so gonna get yeah, yeah. yeah, like a body wash. Mm -hmm. I actually love, let's see, this is my favorite in the Bath and Body Works fragrances. Mm -hmm. Give me your give yes, me your little You don't have self, to ask me twice. I know, right? So you that is the rose fragrance. Up. It's the Shea Butter 24-Hour Moisturizer. And this is one that I love to keep in my purse. It's mm. the ultra-enriched version. So oh. for chemical exposed hands or for constant washing, yeah. right? We tend to get a little dry. And mm -hmm. who, who, I need that because I yeah. cook often. Oh, so, so you're washing yes. constantly. Yes. a lot. Yes. Yeah, me too. Yes. And I get alert. I'm allergic to soap, so my skin will start yeah. to crack. Yeah. And I use all of these great creams. But again, for our viewers, if we had smell a vision, yeah. you would totally <laughs> smell the beautiful nice. rose uh, fragrance. And I just love the the floral fragrances. Mm -hmm. And as a man, I will say there's no shame in using any of this stuff <laughs> because, like you said, a lot of work goes in to making it look. Yeah. Like, like, nothing it was like we woke up that way. You exactly. know? It's funny because um, sit, making the point that you just made, my, my feminine fragrances, my rose, shea butter lotions, those are always the ones that go missing from the bathroom. The guys <laughs> have their own supply, right? But I'm like, where's my rose candle? Or, you know. Yeah. So I think there's little bubble baths going on when I'm not around, too. I wouldn't be they're surprised. Not, I think they tore a page out of our, our playbook, our self-love playbook. <laughs> What so, else do we have? Um, this year, we're really seeing a ton of the masks. Mm -hmm. And as much as we kind of promote not masking, right? These are some things that we do want to mask. And I'm talking moisture masks. Mm -hmm. I'm talking um, hyaluronic acid, just some really great ingredients, repairing socks. Oh, so this masks is for your feet? Mask for your feet. Oh, I We've love also that. got a two-in-one different little calming mask for your face. So depending on what kind of week it's been, right? If we need to restore and soothe, mm -hmm. yeah. um, these are sheet masks. So what it is is it's a pre pre-designed sort of, it's got all the cutouts in the right places. Okay. It is a one-size-fits-all, even though in most cases that doesn't work. Mm -hmm. um, 
And so, yeah, just little sheet mask, and you just lightly, like, gently press it into place. They make them for your eyes, your face, your feet, I, you name it. I did one of the sheet masks. So before we, yeah, before we started um, the segment, I was looking at all this, and we have, my wife and I have a drawer, mostly hers, but uh, <laughs> no there's, shame. like, yeah. yeah. Well, no, I'm just saying it's mostly hers, but I also use the face masks yeah. and, uh -huh. the, like, the eye patches and stuff. Um, and I tried one of the, the sheet ones, and it burned really bad. Oh, no. So, like, anything, and I'm really glad that you're, unfortunately, that you experienced that, but I'm glad that you're bringing it up because ingredients, ingredients, ingredients. Mm, yeah. Especially because there are so many allergies that yeah. we're developing, um, and you really never know. You just Where have to be ingredient-savvy <laughs> consumers mm -hmm. these days. So definitely making sure that you're looking at those ingredients because... You're putting those things near delicate tissue, near right. your eye area, and your mouth, where you could and possibly adjust. Goes yes, in your, your porous, sure. yes, yeah. your porous surfaces are definitely going to um, soak up those ingredients. So you want to make sure. I love plant-based ingredients, things that if I can pronounce it, then it's right. usually a go. But right. like top five things is usually what I'm looking for in, in my ingredient savviness, especially in cosmetics and things that we get so close to the sure. most well, on delicate. Our faces, it's very yeah. scary. Yeah. You can kind of hide burning your feet, but you really <laughs> sure. can't hide burning your face. Yeah, right. no, so that's traumatizing. That. So, so what else do we have? So this is the mud mask. This is actually it looks like a mud mask. However, it's um it's a recharging, it's a magnetic mask kit. So really neat. I've never I've never even seen anything like this. And this is the um, the Elf brand, which is just an over the counter CVS. It's available for everybody um, at your local, you know, Walgreens and what have you. And what it does is it actually goes in with um, attractants that will pull out any impurities that are in your pores. It's really interesting. I'll open yeah, this little guy up. Yeah, there's a picture on the back, I think, demonstrates. There's a picture on the back, mm -hmm. and basically what it does is you put on a magnetic pad over a wand, and then it pulls the, it extracts any elements. Because if you think about it, we live in a world that's, um, you know, oh, like the different makeup sources, mm -hmm. your bare minerals, right? Mm -hmm. So when we're talking about minerals and not necessarily that brand specifically, but mineral makeup alone is a huge craze right now. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of alloys. There's a lot mm -hmm. of aluminums. There's a lot of really harmful things that we are not aware of. So I thought this was a really cool concept in pulling out those little things that we may not even oh, know neat. are hiding. And so then the wand basically peels it off so you don't have to... It, you're not pulling what feels like layers of your own skin. But you're also not scrubbing and washing. You're exactly. actually just covering your face and then pulling it out. Yeah. That's neat. So feel the weight of that. It's got a magnet in the end that's got some pretty, mm -hmm. some pretty good force. So all you do is just sort of massage it over the... Um, you let the mask dry for a couple minutes and... It does the removing cool. for you. In fact, in the instructions, it says, and Lauren, you'll get to take this home today, so oh, you can yay. be our, you can test <laughs> the <laughs> magnetic, absolutely, the magnetic mask theory. Thank you. But um, so removing toxins and impurities, and then it speci uh, specifies not to wash it off afterwards. Oh, okay. So Good. if you think about free radicals in the environment and some of the pollutants that can stick to us. Mm -hmm. It's kind of gross, right? Yeah, yeah. so, so this, happy to pull that stuff out. And then we've also got this little follow-up, oh, which is Oh, vitamin the, C serum. And that's going to be a protectant from your pollutants from as well. From the environment. So yeah. th those go hand in hand. They go yeah. together. Yeah, Very that's cool. cool. So really that's stepping cool. out, whether it's Valentine's Day or not, stepping out and staying in mm -hmm. to just self-love, whatever that looks like to you. Mm -hmm. I mean, to me, I feel like self-love is really whatever brings you joy, you know? Yeah. And if that means sitting down and curling up with a good book, then so be it. I prefer to do the ugly stuff that's <laughs> waxing and, you know, get it all sort of taken care of and, and feeling like the best version of myself is bringing me joy these days, so. Yeah. Well, even just lighting a candle and yes. creating that space to, yeah. you know, fill the room with something that's pleasing to you. I also, I like to do this stuff at night mm -hmm. and then wake up the next day feeling 
ready refreshed and ready anything. to go, yeah. whether it's a Friday night or a Valentine's night or whatever. I think self-care and self-love are always high on the menu of Absolutely. things to do. Absolutely. Amber, thank you so much for always thank bringing you. us fabulous wow. beauty options and Absolutely. fun things to do. We love having you. Thank you for having me. Thank Happy Valentine's you. Day, yes. love. Happy New Year. <laughs> thank Happy you. Valentine's Day. Happy New Year. And we will be right back. I want to show you.